Hello out there, Internet Horde. Zombie Phil here, back with another episode of Seven Days. Uh, just to have a look what I picked up. Um, it was a tier 6 stone shovel and some tier 6 gloves, which I think I am actually already wearing. So these ones will just sell. Um, put this stuff away that I need to. So this was just the uh, spoils of the Horde Knight. Um... No, I don't need any food or water just at the moment. What I am going to do is come over here, pull out my motorcycle and that last of the extra duct tape. Um, but I want to make cobblestone in here. Uh, what have I got there? 300? No, I probably only need like 200 because um, I'm going to upgrade the rest to cement anyway. What have we got here? 86 cement, more stone. Yeah, there's more stone in there, so let's get that uh, going over to cement. That was like five minutes, eight minutes worth of fuel. Yeah, sure, that'll do. Um, that's just got more in it, so it just needs more time. Let's have a look here. I definitely still have more cobblestone. I may have moved out of range of it or something like that. Um... I did run out of cement, uh, I think. Yeah, eight cement. That might have been what I actually ran out of last night. Cement. Yeah, mix up some more of that. Put the duct tape away for the moment. Um, I'm going to put my push bike in here. Grab that. And I'm going to grab my mini bike, actually. Now, do I have any mods on that? The fuel saver. I want to actually take you. I'm going to put these up in the uh, vehicles box. Um, just because they're not really uh, going to be used all that much anymore. Um, since I've got the motorcycle now. And do I have any cobblestone, wood, cement can wait? Two more co 100 cobblestone. Didn't actually really need it. I'll leave that going for now. Right, what I want to do... Is give them a bit of a better way up here, I think. Let's go with the stair shape. Oh, that's a half block anyway. They did really go to town on those. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up here in three different directions. That might even actually support it a little bit better. Give those shapes. Do the little uh, pyramid stairs at the bottom here. Just going to cobble on these ones. And these ones. Here I'll make some more frames. Uh, probably like 200 of them at the moment, though. Um, and in here is this one, which is what I'm looking for here and here. There and there. I don't know if these are going to be too close together to the uh, side ones here. They might actually be. I might just leave this as just a straight run and leave this one as the uh, full way up for them. You know, if I'm going to be doing this much work, I've still got some learning elixirs left over. Now, a lot of people would la uh, leave this for the uh, last uh, 
the last day before the horde. Of, uh, dogs there wandering around in the field while I was uh, doing some upgrades. Glad they didn't come and say hello whilst I was in the middle of upgrading. But they can count towards my XP. Just take that out. Just stairs now. Block out. Do I want to repeat what I did on that side actually? I think I do. So that should have. Yeah, okay. This might take a moment as I might have to tear out some blocks, but I'll be right back. pyramid sections. Now I'm not going to go as crazy and do it on the other side of this particular piece just because the shed is there. I don't know how that would affect them but this should hopefully prevent them from yeah because I ne never really saw them beating here. They were stopping here and beating um, but I'm hoping that um, and let me just do a little aesthetic uh, section here. They might get caught up on this and beat on that, but it's not going to be a big thing if they do. Right. I'll have to do the same on this side. Thankfully, this is wood here, so I can just chop it out. Uh, give me my axe instead of the... Wrench. Okay, that should still be pretty much the same here and there. Yep. I'll worry about upgrading that stuff in a little bit. Give me my cubes back. No. That fence is going to have to come out. Um, you know what? I might just not worry about that particular section there as they'll have to go around the fence anyway. Oh, no, I want two more of these blocks, one there and there, one there and there. Sorry this is going to be a bit of a uh, buildy episode, but uh, yeah, as I said, I don't really like leaving my horde base creation stuff until the last minute. Just 
realized I didn't actually do those two there. My learning elixir has run out, but I'm not too phased with that. Ah, stop. There we go. Really would like a nail gun, I just don't have the steel for it. I do have to go and hit up. I think um, working stiff tools is probably a good way of getting the workbench books, but I'm not 100% on that. upgraded to concrete but I'm also not sure how much longer I'm gonna stay at this uh, particular baseball kind of do want to move over to the desert just for the increased loot But I did also want to save until I got the motorbike for that, so now that I have it. Right, and one put the little lip on here. So that'll be there. There. There and there. Not too phased about those blocks, but they can get upgraded to that anyway. Right, let's see how... Yep, most of that's fine. Yeah, all that's fine. Well, they'd punched a couple of times at that block, but that must have been after they'd stopped being able to get to me. Just going to upgrade that, and uh, you know what? How much cobble have I got left? Only 102, that's barely worth it. Try to get some more cobblestone so I can upgrade the rest of that and make some of it even concrete. Same with this, and this, and that. It's looking pretty good, I think, and it's working really well. Uh, let's go up here and stash some stuff. Uh, I'll have my wrench back here, hammer there, and that can go in there. Mats away. That's still smelting, waiting for me to get a crucible. Ah, that's all good. Um, so what I really want to do now is actually just sell all of this stuff. Um, so I'm going to get the motorbike out and go over to Trady just here. Only 50% fuel, but got this uh, fuel saver mod, so that's good. I'm locked at four, so I can just drop all of that and go and grab the rest of my stuff. Now, I didn't have enough mods and stuff to make all of this completely worth it, but uh, should be enough. And I'm definitely going to want to dye this motorcycle with something other than white.
vending machines. Do you have any? No, you have Mega Crush. Great. Um, you don't even have any candies. Oh, I'm wondering if I should sell here or if I should go over to Jen. Um, so let me just go and quickly check to see if I've got any uh, selling candies. At least. I do have a sugar butt. I did not keep any of the um, things. I'm going to pop a, a learn an elixir to sell all this stuff because you get really good XP. But I'm going to go and do it over at Jen's. Hopefully she's got a awesome source in her uh, inventory. Uh, in her, either her inventory or her uh, vending machine. Up this uh, locked cop car while I'm here. Take the rest. Oh, there's a duffel bag just there too. Gothic boots with a blue dye. Gothic boots are actually half decent in uh, value. Just for the moment, the blue bike. Okay, little colors down. Other guy doesn't care. Let's uh, grab what I can, put those parts away in the ammo. Uh, either way, I'm going to sell, so I'm going to take that. And that, and I'm actually, I think I can actually fit the motorcycle in through her side gate. I can always go out through her front uh, gate there. Okay. Vending machine first, awesome sauce. That's the wrong one. She does have an awesome sauce in here. I will buy that and drink it straight away. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Hey, I see your inventory, Jen, and sell you lots of stuff. There's that level. Probably could have uh, done it without the. Uh, I hope you get feeling better. The learning elixir, but uh, oh well. Still got some more stuff here for you, Jen. Okay, we made uh, just a little bit of change there. Uh, she does have another awesome source. She does have a beaker, but I'm pretty sure I've got one back at the base. No need for that. Um, forge your headbooks. I'll take them. The drone cargo schematic. I'll take that if I ever get to a drone. Um, let's go bit by bit here. Nothing there. Hmm. I'll have some gen crafted steak and potatoes. No, nothing there that I'm really interested in. Two bottles of acid. Yes, thank you. 26 forged steel. Definitely. I'll take your 300 cobblestone. Do you have any cement powder? You do. I'll take your forged iron as well. I'm good on that stuff. Uh, you do have a generator bank. I'll just buy that since I'm here. Spotlights, I'll buy those. Basic light bulbs, sure, why not? I don't know if those are actually the ones that you put up in your house. Just got a blue dye there and a red dye there. Um, don't really need those at the moment though. 
Triple armor uh, pocket mod. I'll definitely take that. And I don't really now need the rest that of that. Was a good deal. Trust me. I'm a okay. doctor. No, you're not, Jen. Uh, that's pants. That already has three mods on it. That already has a pocket mod on it. That does not. Getting ever closer to the uh, filling up my uh, my inventory slots there. No, you can't have anything else. I really need the impact braces. You have three things on you. You do not modify that. Chuck you on there. Uh, skill points. While I'm here, I have three available. Uh, I think that is my intellect. Yeah. Up to there. Don't need to put another point into intellect because I'm wearing the nerdy goggles, but that means I will be able to upgrade Daring Adventurer. If I want to, I can bring Better Barter all the way up to the CEO perk. Um, Precision, Advanced Engineering, I can start bringing those skills all the way up pretty easily. And crash into uh, Jen's Shrub. Or Bush. Getting a bit late, I'm going to go and see what uh, Trader Hugh has for sale. H is for hog parking, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I know. I'm here to see your inventory. Um, let's go bit by bit. Nothing really there. It's got cement powder. I'll buy that. Just got straight up cement, but uh, it's always a little expensive to buy it that way. Got forged steel, I will take that. Got cobblestone rocks, I'll take that too. It's got a crippler mod, it's not bad. It's got a wood splitter mod. Do I actually have a. I do have a wood splitter mod. Uh, he's got a foregrip. Nothing I'm overly impressed with there. Nothing I need there. Mm, run a little low on lockpicks, and I don't want to waste the mechanical parts, so I'll just buy a couple. Uh, I got the gen made uh, steak and potato, so I won't worry about uh, Hugh's hobo stew. He's got a solder bank. Damn. Damn. That's uh, getting a little interesting there. I will buy that lantern. He's got a forge. He's got another generator bank. Kind of wish you had a battery bank there, buddy. Armor is junk, and this is just stuff for around your house. Those damn things are selling okay. like hot. I think I'm good there. I don't think I actually put anything in your inventory. No, I did. Okay. Up and up and up. Let's have a quick look in here. I'm going to pull this out because that uh, flaming effect is just killing me, I think. Uh, three more Forged Ahead books brings me up to 62 out of 75. So I'm getting pretty close to being able to make my own crucible. Um, let's put some stuff away here. That should be enough. Um, that should be enough uh, acid now to make the... To make my chemistry station. Sorry, God, my brain just went to mush on me then. Chemistry station. Definitely craft that so I can start pumping out my own gas for my motorcycle. Um, I had a spare beaker. I'm pretty sure I still actually have a beaker on here as well, yeah. Um, getting a little hungry. I'll eat uh, Jen's steak and potatoes. Um, I put up some new pictures around my place as well. Um, I might pull out some of these uh, light fittings and uh, put actual lighting up. Um, that would be like above the door. 
And what I'll do is I'll save the lanterns for uh, out on the board base where I don't specifically want to be using power. I might move those mushrooms. I'm sick of them making the, the bush sound whenever I walk up to that window. Ah, nail gun. Well, I can't make a tier four, but I can make a tier three. And to be honest, actually, I'm just going to make a tier one. It, it's not like it matters much as far as the uh, the actual nail gun goes. All it does is give it more durability, but I'm fairly certain that they still don't actually use durability when you are using them. Um, there's some more concrete. What am I missing out on? Small stones, huh? Well... Uh, do I need any more... No, I don't think I actually need any more cobblestone, so what I'll do is... My current lot of cobblestone, I will just scrap it in the workbench there. Right, uh, is there anything else I specifically need to do? Uh, rifle... Lever action, I can only make tier 4, so... Don't worry about that. Tactical, I can't even make a tactical assault rifle, so that's just as good. Spear. I can only make a tier 3, but I have a tier 5. Um, oh, is there anything else? Um, pick. I can't even make a steel pickaxe yet. Uh, can I make a ratchet yet? No, that's still locked. What else have I got? Knife. Pretty sure I'm still on bone knives, yep. Not onto the, even the iron knives. Uh, repair kits. I do want a couple more repair kits. Probably not 14, probably just five more to bring me up to 10. Right. Um, I think that's pretty much the all there is on that front. Um, as soon as I get the small stones, I'll make more cement. As soon as I get the uh, chemistry station, I'll put that in here um, and move that potted plant somewhere else. Probably over here by the window or something. I don't know. Not sure. Um, but yeah, so that's it for this episode. So I hope everybody's enjoying what they're seeing. Remember, if you are, hit a like on the video. If you want to come back and see more, remember to subscribe to my channel and come and get your zombie fill. I'll catch you in the next episode. Till then, bye.